what's good y'all it's your boy ross back at it again with another video so today i got something different for you guys i'm gonna be doing my updated version of my shoe collection now i did this video maybe a few years ago I'm not sure if you guys even seen that or whatnot but i did do a uh um, my collection video at the time of the shoes that I had or whatnot and I know a lot of you guys have been asking over the years for me to uh, do some more collection or for you guys to you know check out the collection or, or whatnot behind me and I had been putting it off because I've been trying to get other videos done but I, I decided that I want to start getting back into showing you guys my collection and also uh I, I put a poll on instagram and twitter about me doing uh shoe unboxing videos or whatnot and i've been getting quite a quite a bit of shoes off camera or whatnot i'm not sure if you've noticed or paid attention different shoes have been moving around back there so i wanted to start doing unboxing of shoes that i end up getting and, and and talking about the quality and and you know how i lace them up and stuff like that and just go in depth with uh you know the particular shoes that i, I like to wear, uh, wear and a lot of you guys have voted for me to do that on instagram and twitter the polls haven't even ended yet but it's a landslide in votes honestly so i think that's going to be some of the new content i'm going to be bringing to the channel i mean my name does have kicking it with ross in the title of my youtube channel it's my channel name so it only makes sense to bring you know talk about some of the kicks i have and show off you know some of the kicks i was able to purchase and maybe it could be a situation where some of the kicks i am end up getting it may uh you know you may want to get it for yourself so you're not sure and maybe you come here you get to check out your you know my impressions of it and it may be something that you may want to get later on down the line so uh definitely i i think i'm gonna get into that but the best way to start that off is to show you guys my updated collection um so far what i have now i have to make a uh a statement here i don't know if you guys notice but the collection is much smaller than what it used to be originally i had jordans on one side and air maxes on the other side but as i realized as time went on i wasn't really wearing my air maxes i barely wore them i'm talking about i had over close to 40 pair of air maxes different ones like air max 90s 95s 97s like you know the newer air maxes that they were dropping like i had a whole bunch that i weren't even wearing like shoes i weren't wearing for years so i was like you know what I've, I've always been more of a jordan guy to be honest with you and you know i was like you know what let me go ahead and give these shoes away and that's exactly what i did so shout out to the people that was able to get the shoes from me i didn't charge nobody for them i could have sold them but i just gave them away to people that you know could use them and benefit them and i kept them all clean and i barely wore them so i was like you know what let me go ahead give them away and kind of revamp my collection to build this jordan wall that i'm trying to build back there so uh all of this collection you see now for the most part is all jordans so i'm gonna show you guys what i have show you some of my favorite pair and the pair that i usually wear the most and then we're gonna go from there so uh yeah let's get right into my uh shoe collection all right y'all so we're gonna check out my jordan collection and what i have so far uh before we do that look at these trophies man look at look at look at the championships look at the plaque you know what I'm saying? You're undisputed YouTube wrestling champ of the world. And also, you're in the Clutch World Heavyweight Champion. Had to, had to, you know, check these out real quick. But, uh, yeah, look at that beautiful 100K plaque. Thank you guys for all the love and support. But enough of that. Let's get to the shoes because we know that's what y'all here for. So, let's start with the ones now. In total, the, the amount of uh, Jordan ones I have so far in the collection. Let's count them. One, two, three. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen pair of Jordan ones, man. Uh, I'm, I ain't gonna lie to you. Uh, I wasn't always a fan of Jordan ones coming up, but in in recent years, I've definitely been loving the colorways that they've been dropping. There's still more that I'm trying to get uh, that I missed out on, but you know, if I'm able to get them, I'll definitely get them. But right now. Let me show you some of my favorite pair that I like rocking. 
these taxis. I love rocking these, man. I love rocking these. Love the quality on these shoes. I, I don't know. It's just something about this this taxi yellow I've always appreciated. And uh, I don't really see too many people wearing them, but I love these, man. These are some of my favorite pair to put on the feet. I recently just got the reverse laneys. These come in women's sizes. I love the colors on these. I love the, you know, the love the way it looks. Love this, bro. This the 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 laney colorway is always a, a nice one, especially you know just on a Jordan one. So I recently just got these, so they they may be coming becoming my new favorite pair to wear. I recently just got these as well. Rocking with these, I love the the suede material on the back here, the nice material right here, and uh, no, it's an overall good looking Jordan one. Another one I'm like, I've uh, been recently wearing a little bit more. Now these right here, these is tough. These are the Twist 2.0s. They only come in women's sizes, but look at the fur. Look at the, the material. That's why I had to get these. All around the shoe is this fur. It's real fur. If you look in the shoe, I don't know. I think it may be in the other shoe. There is like a, I don't know if you guys can see that. It's a sign right there. Let's see if uh, the camera will focus. You see, this shoe contains real fur, dyed natural adult bovine fur origins is from Italy. Yeah, so this is real fur on the shoes and look at the wings right here. It's metallic. Now I've definitely become a fan of when Jordan brand puts like metallic, uh, a jump man on their shoes or anything re metallic related. I love the quality of that and this, just sets it off even more, but nah, these bad boys right here are just beautiful, bro. Look, look at the quality on these. I've only worn these, I believe, twice, but I love the quality on these. It sucks they only came in women pairs, women sizes. So, all right, the next pair I have. Now these right here, I I looked up on these. These are the Georgetown ones. The high 85s, these are my first pair of high 85 Jordan 1s, bro. Bro, these bad boys is nice. I love me the Georgetown colorway. When I say I looked up on these, uh, shout out to one of the homies. He actually, uh, um, he knows that I do YouTube or whatever. He's one of my shoe plugs. And he hooked me up with these bad boys for a very good price. I know they're pretty expensive aftermarket, but he wasn't even taxing me that much for these. And uh, I love these bad boys right here, man. So definitely have to get these. Another favorite pair of ones I have that I, I definitely love wearing, the bubblegum ones right here. These are for women. I love the material on here with the patent leather. I love these, bro. These these bad boys, uh, this is always a, a, an attention getter anytime I wear them. I love these bad boys. These are beautiful. Love them, love them, love them, man. Only came in women's sizes, bro. I'm telling you, women, they be having the best colorways. I promise you. Right here is the... These are the prototype ones. What I like about these ones is the fact that they come with multiple shoelaces, uh, multiple different color shoelaces. Uh, they're all in a, in, a, in a container. I don't feel like bending down trying to get them. But they come with different... Uh, shoelaces, I think are like three pairs. So I love these right here. Nice, nice. I like the, the material on this side. It's more of a suede material right there. Suede new book material. Love it. Definitely a cool pair of ones. I got right here, the Brotherhoods. I definitely like wearing vibrant color Jordan ones. So definitely have the Brotherhoods. I'm wearing these a few times. I definitely need to clean them up a little more. A little spot smudge right there, so I'm gonna work on cleaning that up. But love these. I mean, can't go wrong with this colorway. So definitely glad I got this pair. These right here, the patent leather ones. It's self-explanatory. Look at look at the patent leather. It looks beautiful. Love the quality on these shoes. Yeah, it's self-explanatory, and uh, I love the the black and red colorway. So yep, got these bad boys. Now these right here, these are nice. These are the uh, the handcrafted ones. Now what I like about these is this is all one shoelace, but it's 
is set up where it looks like two different shoelaces, but it's all one shoelace. It's just the, the bottom half is black, top half is this like neon, neon orange. But what's also nice about this, and I'm not sure if you guys can tell, but I'm sure you probably won't be able to tell, but you can tell about the 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 stitching. You see the stitching on inside the shoe? That's also on the sole. So it's like this comfortable stitching on the sole as uh you know as on out on uh, on this layer of the shoe and it feels real comfortable when you're walking in them i will say jordan ones are not the most particular comfortable pair of shoes to be wearing for a while but those are because of the way they set up the sole in the shoe with that quilted fabric love these right here love the pink laces that come with it definitely is a cop if you're able to get them i, I believe a lot of people passed on these next is my my red and white joints right here I rock with these. I've only worn these, I believe, maybe twice. Maybe twice. I have a fit for them. I just haven't had the time to actually pull them out. But I definitely am rocking with these bad boys right here. Something slight. Nothing too crazy. Now, these right here, I call these the cool gray ones. I know it's not the name of them, but I call them the cool gray ones. Because these bad boys, is bro, they're basically just cool gray ones. Love it. Anything cool gray related color wise, I'm a big fan of. So definitely had to get these. And my last pair of ones happen to be another female shoe is the silver top ones right here. Now the material you got the silver, silver like material. But what's cool is the shoe inside. You see how it's smooth and shiny. That's how it feels all the way inside the shoe. I love that material. I'm not sure the name of it, but it's this silky smooth material on the inside of the shoe. And these only come in women, unfortunately, but I love these bad boys. I love, love that silver metallic chrome look they got around the outside of the shoe. So I've only worn these a few times as well. All right, now that we're done with the ones, let's get to the 13s and we're gonna start with the playoff 13s just got these a couple weeks ago i was able to hit on the sneakers app uh for the earth they did a shock drop so i was able to get a pair of these bad boys they have not been worn yet i have not worn them you can see the plastic is on the bubble i've always wanted some playoff 13s so the fact that i was able to get some is awesome i've always loved like the bottom of the shoe i always thought that this part was always cool for me growing up as a kid in the bubble here the holographic little bubble right here always loved this as, as a kid so the fact that i was able to get a pair finally uh, i'm very happy about that can't wait to pull these bad boys out now these right here, these right here, man, I definitely, definitely worn these a lot. <laughs> I've had these for a few years now and I love them, bro. It's funny, I, I went to Walmart maybe like last year or whatever and some dude was at who worked at Walmart, he's like, yo, bro, these shoes is, yo, them kicks is tough. I was like, appreciate it, bro. And I was just chilling, man, you know what I'm saying? But these definitely do look nice depending on what fit you have. You don't even have to go crazy with it or whatnot, I love, love the material on here. Definitely needs to get cleaned up, but I've definitely worn these a lot. And the next pair, these right here, I've definitely worn these quite a bit. I kind of got these around the same time. Uh, I got these 13s right here. Uh, you can see the scuff marks definitely got to get cleaned up, but I mean, I, I love 13s. They're very comfortable. If you haven't had a pair of 13s, definitely get you some. They're very comfortable for me. I've always like rocking with them. So um, these are another pair I wear a lot. The red Flint 13s is just, I mean, it's pretty much just a red version of, of the Flint 13s. I uh, love these, love the gray, love the suede on it. Red is one of my favorite colors for those who don't know. So I, I when they initially drop, I had to cop some. So love these bad boys right here. Now these, the Obsidian 13s, I was able to get these under resale because they were sitting a lot. Many people weren't buying them. Uh, I know originally I wasn't going to get them, but I decided to get them because mainly because of the sole. I like the light blue under the sole, and it's it's a nice. I have a lot of uh, a lot of things I can match with this, so I ended up getting it under retail, uh, stock brand new, hadn't been worn. I think I paid like maybe from the person that was selling them. I think it, it had to have been like maybe 160 or something like that 170 it was definitely under retail i didn't pay uh full retail price but 
it was it was worth it. The Del Sol 13s, love. It's like something with yellow and Jordan, depending on what the yellow is, it pops on a lot of shoes for me personally, and these are beautiful. Love wearing these out on a bright sunny day. People can see you a mile away. Love these babies right here. And of, I think personally, these may be my favorite 13s. Only because I always wanted them and I was able to get them. These are the Flint Blue 13s, man. The Flint 13s, man. Uh, these are the 2020 version. I was able to get these at a good price. They weren't taxing for them. Got them, uh, I believe, dead stock or whatnot. Love these bad boys. Always wanted them. Never had a chance to get them. When they, when they came across my path, I had to get them. I'm like, you know what? Let me go ahead and get these bad boys. I always wanted to... Uh, Flint 13, so here you go. Love these babies. And my last pair of 13s right here. These right here are the court purple 13s. Love these bad boys. These need to get cleaned up too, man. Some of these shoes, I'm sorry, y'all. They're not as in pristine condition, but that can that let you know that I'd be wearing them a lot more. <laughs> I actually definitely need, need to get these boys scrubbed up, so I got some cleaning material. I'm gonna definitely scrub these bad boys up. Um, but I mean, the purple and the black. People have slept on these, in my opinion. I don't really see too many people wearing these, but these bad boys is nice. Uh, I'm rocking with these, man. And uh, they match my alma mater uh, school color. Shout out to Prairie View a and uh, University, PVAMU, man. Shout out Panthers, you know, and uh, one of our colors is purple. So uh, anytime I go to Prairie View back to, you know, homecoming related or anything, anytime I just go back up there, or I feel like repping my alma mater, then I pull these bad boys out with like a purple fit or something like that. All right, now. This right here, this whole row, I call this the trophy section. Now the trophy section are the shoes that I feel like deserve to be showcased in a trophy case, man. These don't deserve to be in the container. So a lot of times these shoes end up getting rotated out. So either they have some significant value to me or I just feel like they're super dope and they don't deserve to be in the container. So these right here, Cool gray 11s were a must have for me. Um, I will say I remember missing out on the cool gray 11s many years ago. I wouldn't didn't have the money to get it or whatnot. So when I heard that they were bringing them back out, I was like, I had to get them. Now, the crazy thing about this, and I'll probably never do this again, I got these early. The shoes weren't supposed to drop until December. I end up getting these shoes in September. So I guess you can say, uh, you know, with getting shoes early, you gotta pay an early tax fee. I paid $500 for these. I kind of regret doing that only because when they originally dropped, they, there was a lot of pairs that I could have got for way cheaper, but I had them in September. So I just, you know, I had them months before they dropped, but I'm not doing that again. I paid too much for these damn shoes, $500 for these joints to get shipped early, but I love these bad boys. I think I may have worn these maybe four times, man, four or five times since I've had them. Love the cool gray 11s, man. I love this shoe, love the material. I think they did a good job on uh, re-releasing these. Now, these right here are my pride and joy. If you guys remember, I just said I love when they do the metallic Jumpman or anything metallic related. These Midnight Navy uh, Jordan 11s only are for women. Look at the buttery suede. Look at this. I had to get it just off this alone. Look at this. Beautiful. This is why this had to go on the case. Look at the, just, it's the material, bro. I had to get these. These are some of my favorite pair of 11s, and I love it just off the material alone. Look, oh my God, that beautiful. Now, these right here. It only makes sense that the Trophy Room 7s belong on the trophy case. Look at the, once again, love the metallic feature on the back, the metallic jump man. I love the metallic tips. Oh, bro, the, I love this shoe, bro. This is one of my favorite shoes to wear. Ah, uh, man. They did a very good job on these, bro. Even the inside of the shoe looks dope. I don't, I don't know if you can see that, but the inside of the shoe looks fucking dope. And I, I was able to get uh, one of the, the, the trophy room jacket that goes to this shoe. Love this, man. 
Look at this. It says new sheriff in town. And these are the new sheriffs in town. I love wearing these shoes. The box that it came in is dope as hell as well. It's like a, a basketball court. Love these shoes. So it made sense they were on the shelf. Now these, the DMP sixes pretty much. Even though it's not part of the DMP pack, I call them the DMP sixes because that's basically what they are. Now, shout out to my cousin Patrick, man. He's one of the people that got me into Jordans. I remember when he had the original DMP uh, package, the gold box package that came with the DMP 6s, Jordan 6s, and, and it had the DMP 11s with the gold jump man, which is supposed to be re-releasing this year, so you know I had to get it. Know I had to get this. Love it. Look at the Jordan dog tag on there, man. I just, the metallic back ring. Uh, the back on the Jordan 6s. I love this shoe. I've definitely worn these in the buttery suede. Love this shoe, man. One of my favorite. So, yeah. And for those who don't know, Jordan 6s is my favorite number of, of Jordans. And since we got the gold, we got the silver and gold combo, even though these are called the chrome 6s. What I like about, got like the, the prominent 23 on the back with the chrome or whatnot it's pretty much just you know the silver and gold collection that's what i like to call it and the boxes uh reflect the same way i have some of the boxes in my closet but i'm not gonna show y'all that but this is part of the trophy case and at some point there's gonna be some rearrangements i usually rearrange the trophy case um just depending on you know what new shoes i get and i feel like deserve to be there all right next the electric green Jordan 6s, bro. Love this colorway. Barely wear these. Especially, you know, when I'm out and about somewhere and the shoes just be glowing in the dark. Ah, oh, these bad boys is nice. Uh, and like I said, Jordan 6s are my favorite number. Now, when they decided to put the border uh, the Bordeaux colorway on the Jordan 6s, it was a must-have for me. These are the Bordeaux sixes. I love the Bordeaux sevens. I used to have me a pair, but they got torn up. I love the Bordeaux sixes. Once again, love Jordan sixes. Even the inside looks beautiful. They did a great job on recreating the Bordeaux colorway on the sixes. And apparently they're supposed to be dropping like the aqua colorway on the Jordan sixes as well this year. So you know I gotta cop me a pair, man. You know I gotta give me a pair. Of course, the Carmine sixes with the nike air on the back i know they uh released some with the jumpman on the back but i've always preferred the carmine sixes with the nike air on the back it just looks better to me uh in my honest opinion but these bad boys is tough love them glad i was able to get them barely wear them but still love these bad boys now these right here i happened upon these once again they pretty much put a seven colorway on a Jordan six. These are the hair sixes, man. I've always wanted a pair of the hair sevens. I think they did a good job with these as well. The inside of the sole looks great. The outside material with the with the, the suede looks good. And I like the, the bubble gum bottom, even though it's kind of dirty. Looks very good. They did a good job. I love when they, for whatever reason, put seven colorways on Jordan sixes. They always kill it, so love that. Back with another pair. Uh, the Georgetown Sixes love the all suede. They did a really good job on this. All suede around it, man. Love it. It's just, you know, Georgetown, Georgetown colorway. Can't go wrong with it. Looks good. I've worn these maybe twice. I love the box that it comes in. The box that it comes in is pretty cool as well. We're getting to the UNC Sixes. Love these. Love, love me a UNC colorway. Love the suede on it. Love the little stitching on the back. Love the insole, how the design's in there. And also, they're supposed to be dropping the UNC 5s next month in March. So you know, I'm definitely gonna be checking that out and uh, getting those And uh, I'm definitely probably gonna do a unboxing for you guys, if you guys want that, man. All right, and I think that is all of my sixes. Um, I didn't get a chance to count by the pair of 13s I got. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pair of Jordan 13s. How many pair of sixes I got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pair of Jordan sixes. Not bad. Now, these are the only pair of threes I have, the Cardinal threes. These are actually my first pair of threes I've ever owned. 
So, um, I like the quality in here. I like the quality within the shoe, how it feels like inside the shoe or whatnot. Um, I do need to get another pair of threes. I think there's some threes that I definitely want to get this, some more threes this year, but I do like the Cardinals. I haven't worn them too much, but these bad boys are nice. Now, these right here, these mean something to me. If I can open it up, I don't want to break it, y'all. Hold on, man. I'm gonna have to, there we go. I ain't trying to break this. The Citrus Sevens. People slept on these. I don't know why, but I remember in high school, always wanting a pair of these. These were a pair of Jordan 7s I always wanted. And when they dropped, I had to get them. I don't know why people were sleeping on them. Love the buttery suede. They did a real good job on re-releasing these. These Citrus 7s, to me, I love them. I love them. And if you have a chance to get them, go ahead and get them, bro. I love the Citrus 7s. They did a fantastic job on this shoe. Don't know why people slept on them. But, uh, yeah, love these 7s, bro. All right. <laughs> And we're almost done with the collection or whatnot. All right, let's start with the, the last year's Christmas release, the Cherry 11s. Love these, man. Love how they look. The, the red on there looks good. The quality on these look good. I think I've only worn them maybe twice. I was able to get them for a little bit over retail, but no, nah, the quality on these are, are very, very good, man. So I, I love these. Not much to say about them. Um, these are a nice pair of 11s. But my favorite pair of 11s are these right now. Um, of course, I had to talk about these right here. These joints right here have, you know, done me well. The Jubilee Jordan 11s, man. I remember when I got these. I got these. I got a pair for me and Dub, uh, man. So I happened to get them on release day or whatnot. I, bro, the metallic jump man, like I said, a lot. I love, I love more of the metallic finish on the 23. Uh, I like, like what they did with the, the the straps, like on as you can see, like on the straps or whatnot, on the shoe. I love this. This is just this. I literally wore this shoe so many times. Love these bad boys. I'm gonna always keep these. These bad boys are, have a special place in my heart. Love them, love them, love them. Now, these I like to call the 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 Easter uh, the Easter Sunday Jordan Fives. Now these are tough. I love the material on these. I love the suede material. But what makes these dope is they glow in the dark. Say for example, you're walking outside. You come inside. They this part just lights up and it glows in the dark oh my god these are so cool gotten so many good compliments every time i pull these out i'll only wear them like twice twice maybe three times love these fives man glad i was able to get them when they re-released them right here concord fives i was able to get them on sale when they did a, a, a re-release last year for christmas or whatnot Pretty simple. I love the Concord colorway. I had, I was like, you know, they're, they're, they're on the store. So I was like, let me go ahead and give me a pair, man. Love these bad boys right here as well. These are the Bluebird Jordan 5s. Love the material all the way around. These only are for women. This was worth the purchase, man. Love the, 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 the satin material, as you would call it, on the inside. Love the way that feels. I get a lot of compliments. Anytime I've worn these... I get a lot of compliments. Love these bad boys. Love them, love them, love them, man. I'm telling you, women, they be having some of the best colorways. And it's not even a joke. Of course, I got these as a birthday gift. Shout out to the homie Dub and Trill Billy that got these for me. The Raging Bull Fives, man. Love these. Always wanted them. Glad I got them. Uh, they're supposed to be dropping like some, um, I guess you can, they're, they're like Raging Bull Sixes pretty much or, you know, Toro Bravo Sixes, whatever you want to call them. They're supposed to be dropping them. And y'all know I love me some Sixes, so I'm definitely going to be getting these. But these, love the material, love the box that came in. Can't go wrong with it. Raging Bull Fives is a must-have in any Jordan collection if you do get them. And last but not least, Playoff 12s. Rock with these, man. I was able to just happen to get them at one point or whatnot. Love them. These are actually, I want to say, 
I haven't had a pair of 12s since I was a kid. Uh, since I was a kid. My first pair of 12s happen to be the 12s they plan on releasing this year. The Cherry 12s. So I can't wait to get those. But these are like my second pair of 12s ever in my life. The playoff 12s. So I was happy I was able to scoop these bad boys up. And that's pretty much it for the Jordan collection. Um, I have... Check how many pair of fives I have. One, two, three, four. I got four pair of fives. I got... Uh, four pair of 11s, two pair of sevens, one pair of threes. So yeah, that's that's pretty much, and one pair of 12s. That's pretty much the Jordan collection. Also, I got these right here. You gotta always have you a pair of some Icy White Forces, man. Got me a pair of Icy White Forces. You know, nothing too crazy. That's They just been chilling in the box. I pull them out whenever I feel like wearing them. I've only worn them like maybe three times, if that. So, uh, got me a pair of Icy White Forces. That's about it. <laughs> just sitting off to the side. And that's it, man. Uh, I plan on putting uh, some shoes there, but I can't tell you what it is, though. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much the Jordan uh shoe collection that i have right now well i hope you guys enjoyed the tour of the shoes that i uh have recently acquired and some of the shoes i've been had for a while hopefully you guys enjoyed checking them out so like i said uh during the showcase of the shoes i do plan on doing some unboxing uh, uh videos of some new shoes that I, I i plan on getting and i can't tell you what the next one uh, the next unboxing is because i already have the shoes so i'm kind of keeping it hush hush but i definitely do plan on recording that for you guys and uploading it on the channel man uh i definitely want to venture out and do some other video content i'm still going to be doing the wrestling reactions because that's you know i love me some wrestling so don't think that's not going to happen but i'm going to be incorporating some more shoe uh unboxings and i'm also going to be incorporating some other stuff i i can't tell you yet but i think a lot of you guys are going to like some of the new content i have on the way bro i i gotta keep everything under wraps but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video man let me know if you guys are excited for me to do some more uh um uh well for me to start doing some shoe unboxing videos i know like i said i posted a poll on twitter and on instagram and there's overwhelming support from you guys that follow me there saying that you want me to do some shoe unboxing videos so be on the lookout for that if you enjoyed this video you like the uh, um checking out the shoe content you want me to do some more shoe related content hit that like button it really means a lot and let me know what pair of shoes a uh, pair of jordans or nike uh nike shoes or whatever pair you like it doesn't even have to be jordan or nike it can be whatever shoes that you like to wear let me know down below what kicks do you guys like to wear um um throughout the day throughout the week you know what I'm saying let me know what's your favorite pair of shoe shoes or favorite pair of or, or favorite kind of shoe brand that you guys like to rock because i'm not one of those people that like oh you wear this and look down upon you no whatever you wear that you like that's all that matters so let me know what shoes you guys be rocking down in the comments below and if you do have some uh some jordans or whatnot let me know do you have some of the jordans that i i've shown uh in this video let me know uh or whatnot so but i appreciate all the love and support you guys are shown on the channel road to 150k i appreciate y'all kicking with me see y'all on the next one peace